all my lovely nestlings and welcome to today's video where I'm going to chat about the worst products of 2022. I have a bunch in front of me and I review a lot of makeup. Fortunately most of it is at least decent, but these? Mm. If you are new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I am from the Netherlands, hence the accent. I'm also slightly orcish, relatively vintage. I love spooky stuff, makeup and being creative. Let me explain some things. The slightly orcish means that I'm green. I am a light to light medium warm-ish olive. And the relatively vintage means I'm 46. Yes, that I love makeup. It's not really that weird, I think at least. Well, I do kind of a best of beauty video almost every month where I go over the products that I tried that month. I put them in a tier style system and um, the products that I'm going to mention today, they they were kind of in the whole, oh, hell, oh hell no category of that video. Uh, I did include eyeshadow palettes today because even though I uploaded my 10 best eyeshadow palettes of the year, there were no real bad palettes that I tried this year with the exception of two and those are in the video today as well so I have just a combination and I'm just going to go over them now also kind of a disclaimer it's all relative right makeup is personal preference what did not work for me may work brilliantly for you if it does let me know down in the comment section if I detest your favorite product it is not you you are not your product right um it's just that it didn't work for me for one reason or another. And I'm going to explain it to you today. Okay, let's just start. Let's start with... They are not ranked. They're also not in a tier because they're just all bad products. I'm just going to start with... I think it's actually... The, I think this is the worst foundation that I tried this year. Now, my skin type is normal. It can get dehydrated in summer, especially here. And in winter... No, in winter it can get dehydrated, especially on my cheeks. And in summer, I'm a little bit more oily where I sweat down in the T-zone. I think it's a very normal skin type though. Now, I don't have the component anymore, but I do still have the box. And it's from the Nessa Myricks. It is her Vision Cream Cover. I think this is an older foundation. When I saw this launch on Beauty Bay, I was like, hmm, I want to try it. Uh, this shade was also on sale, which was the shade uh, 2.75. The shade match was okay. When I looked up how I was supposed to use it, they said that you need to use the smallest amount and then buff it out. However, the foundation was so thick, I could not blend it out. I don't want to do that with my face. It's kind of like, you know, your face is kind of like elastic in your underwear. If it stretches out too much, it kind of sags. We don't want that. So this, I tried it every which way I knew how. I tried it on its own, which was just... It was ridiculous. Then when I mixed in a little bit of water, that was one of the tips... It broke up weirdly, which isn't weird, but it was one of the tips. So I tried it. Then I was like, let me let me mix, uh, you know, a primer oil in. That was nice. That coverage was very, very nice. However, I need to powder. I needed to powder it because it contained too much oil. It didn't sink in because I have sunscreen underneath. When I powdered it, though, it was such a cake face. I have never, ever had a foundation as bad as this one. If you get this one to work, let me know your tricks. I don't have it anymore. I'm also not going to, to try it again, but I am curious because for me, there was no way I could work with this foundation. The amount that they said that I needed, if you say that you need a quarter pump for your entire face, then make the pumps give the quarter pump amount. Because if I used one pump, I had cake face. So overall, this was very much a no-no. Very much. Okay. Let's go to the next foundation, which is a little bit better than that one. Uh, which is from Makeup Revolution. It's the IRL foundation. Now I have a sample card here and I'm very, very happy that I bought the sample card. Uh, Color-wise, it was not a match, but that is okay. I'm talking about the formula. Now I know that samples kind of have maybe a little bit of a different consistency than a foundation in and of itself but this foundation was just it sank into every line that i had it was cakey it was patchy it did weird things 
it basically clung here and then broke up here it was not nice yes i know it was a sample but it was a new foundation and i have tried out a lot of foundations i know what i like and what i don't like unfortunately most of the foundations from makeup revolution i don't like there was one which was the revolution um pro cc cream that one i did like i like the formula of that it's just it's a little bit too illuminating for what i go for right now but yeah this i understand why people love it but for me with my 46 year old skin it was not good it wasn't and i tried it with every primer underneath it just looked like a cheap foundation It just looked like a cheap foundation. And that is just not what I go for. So, yeah, that was not as ranty as the Danessa Myricks. Because oh, I have honestly the worst foundation ever. Um, but for me, it emphasized my pores. It emphasized the texture. It, it just, it, it also did not feel nice on my skin. It's just not a formula that I enjoy. So, yeah. Okay, let's next go to Kosas. Because from Kosas, I grabbed their tinted face oil. Now, I sh honestly, I should have known before I tried this. Because if I have a sunscreen that is tinted, I tried that once. I do not like that. Because I can feel the color particles on my finger. <laughs> I don't like that. Um... So I, I don't really know why I wanted to try this. Maybe because a lot of people loved this. Uh, and, and then the shade that I have is 5.5. Which is my height of summer shade. And I was like let me try it. I don't know why. I should have known better. I should have known better. Because I feel those particles. I also feel them on my face. And... Basically what it is for me, there is too much oil and too less pigment. Or vice versa. So also in the height of summer, I always use a sunscreen. So this, the oil that is in there, does not really sink into my skin. Because there's a sunscreen layer underneath. So maybe I can use it on my legs. But for my face, I have tried it a few different times. I also tried it without sunscreen. Uh, just on a day where I knew I was staying indoors. It was a little bit better. But you can just see it. You can just see that it is patchy. You can. There's just no... The only way it looked nice was when I was indoors. People came from the outside and could not really see me well. But I do know that a lot of people love this. It's just... Not for me. And again, I should have known it. I can also feel the color particles on my face. It's just not a nice feeling. Uh, if you're kind of new to me, I'm extremely particular. I'm also very sensitive to um, textures. So that's why I always try to let you know how, uh, how something feels on my skin. But for me, this was such a letdown. And... Again, reading the description, I should have known it. It's just not, not for me at all. The last foundation that I'm going to mention today, the consistency of the foundation is very, very nice. The finish is stunning. It's just that the color. Bear with me. Me being an olive, I am used to customizing my foundations. I'm very much used to it. So when I actually saw uh, a brand pop up from Germany that uh, marketed customizing your own foundation, I was like, that is so interesting. When they came out with a natural finish, I jumped on it. And it is from the brand La uh, Manu Manufacture, or I don't know, I always want to say it in French. So La Manufacture, that's how I want to say it anyway what have they uh, developed they have developed kind of something like this which is you put this on your phone you put it on your face and it analyzes the colors in your skin and i think still it's brilliant i have heard so many people say that i they never found their match and now they finally found their match but i don't know if you can see the colored dots in there are you missing some colors because i am There is no blue in here. That means that it doesn't pick up on the blue that is in my skin. Because I'm an olive. 
So I did this. I actually did a video with this. I tried to measure it a bunch of times with flash, without flash. I looked up how I had to do this. And when I got my mixture, first off, it was way, way, way too dark. So they matched me way too dark. And I was like, that is very, very interesting. They matched me medium. And I tried this, I think, in winter. And I'm not a medium. Even in summer, I'm close to medium, but not a complete medium. And it was also orange. So what I tried to do then actually is make my own foundation. Uh, I actually grabbed, this is their lightener. This is the lightest shade that they have, which in winter is almost my depth. However, this is pink. So when I kind of started to customize it a little bit, it was too dark. I, I could not get the correct color for me i think my theory is it's because i'm an olive and there is no blue color corrector in here there's a yellow but there's no blue that way i cannot make it green i can but not with their tools right so because they don't have blue and green um, measurements in here my skin shows up as well apparently orange which is very very interesting because i'm not um And then also with the fact that this is their lightest shade in the set. That makes it a fail. And I'm actually very sad about that. Because I think it's a brilliant concept. I hope that they will expand everything in the future to include, well, at least a blue. Because that way, you know. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, the finish was stunning. But uh, the, it, it didn't work. It didn't work. So that's why it's in the video. Okay, let's go to a concealer. I'm kind of going... I don't know how I'm, what I'm doing exactly. But that's okay. Let's go to a concealer. This was actually PR from Colourpop. And it is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Concealer. I have mine in the shade uh, 22H4. No, no, Light 50W. <laughs> I got this in PR. It was my first PR from the brand and uh, they asked me if I wanted to try which concealer I wanted to try. Maybe I should have, have opted for the other one. This is very pretty until I powder. The trouble is I need to powder because it creases. On me that is. I have heard so many people love this formula. And I think that if you have very dry under eyes, you will love this. Now, my under eyes are normal, kind of, you know. Um, but they're older. And where, I don't think you can see it right now. But where it creases, I have a few lines there. It creases there. And this is, I can powder it and it still creases. It creases very, very much so. When I also powder it, there's something happening here. It's almost like the coverage disappears when I powder it. And I've tried it with I tried it without powder. It's prettiest, but it keeps on creasing. And when I powder it, doesn't matter what powder I use, it just it looks very, very weird underneath my eyes. I tried it without foundation underneath. I tried it first and then foundation underneath i tried it with a matte foundation to kind of help set it a little bit it doesn't matter it just it's just not for me unfortunately okay the next product that i'm going to go to let's go to a lippy from catrice and this is their uh, shine bomb lipsticks and this is the shade everyday favorite so Formula wise, I do like it. And then when I look at the color, I'm like, oh, that is so, so pretty. When I swatch it, it's very, very pretty. But when I put this on my lips, it, it makes my lips look like this. So basically the lines that, I, that everyone naturally has in their lips, it's emphasized by this. And I'm very sad because I love the formula and I love the color. But this particular one, it's so not pretty. I cannot show you because I have a lippy on already. But it just, it's kind of like water. You know, it kind of, it kind of looks for all the crevices where it can live. That's the same with this lipstick. And it's just... It's a color thing. I have other colors from them. But this color, this shade uh, 10, is by far the, the worst color that I have tried this year. Yes. 
Next, I'm going to go to... Let's go to a lip oil because I can. So I, I love lip oils. I love lip oils. I've tried out a bunch of lip oils. Some I like a little bit better than others. The ones from Colourpop, for instance, are not really my favorite, but they're okay. I can live with it. The lip oil I'm going to mention today, though... It is from I Heart Revolution and it is their tropical lip oil. When I got this in, I was like, ooh, a new lip oil. It looks cute, right? With, with, it just looks cute. It looks like summer. And then I opened it and I smelled it. The way that I described it in uh, The Best of Beauty was... I don't know, may maybe you can relate to this, that you have been, you, you know, you have been drinking, you know, kind of that summery mixed cocktail stuff. And then you kind of, you know, the sweet stuff and then you have to puke. That's what this smells like. There's just a sweet, sour scent, but not in a good way that I was like, mm, every time I use this, it, 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 it smells like, like puke. And that's not really what I want to smell when I put on a lip oil. So... I also know that scents are very personal. They are very, very personal. So it could very well be that you're like... Bitch, I don't know what you're talking about. I love this lip oil. For me, it smells like... Peach watermelon. Whatever. If that is the case, let me know down below. Because I think it's just so, so interesting that people smell things differently as well. But for me, this smells like... Sweet smelling puke. And it's not a nice... No. I'm sorry. Okay, let's next go to let's next go to uh, Dr. Paul Paul. I have two things from from them, him, them, they. I don't know. Here, this is a kind of a blush lip tint, and this is a shimmery highlighter lip tint. That's kind of the generalization. These do absolutely nothing for me, especially uh, even in winter. Now I am not very very pale in winter. I'm light, but so if you are very pale. Maybe you're light in summer and then paler in winter. This may work for you. But for me, it did absolutely nothing. Also, it did not dry down. And I don't like that. I know I can use this on the lips. But also there, it did not really do anything. And um, yeah, it, it, it basically was a waste of money. I know there are people out there who love these. But for me, the highlighter is way, way, way too subtle. You don't see it. Now, the highlighter I have on today is actually... A, uh, a combination of a glowing super shock eyeshadow from Colourpop and a highlighter. And it's not a very blinding one. It's not a very, very glittery one. I love a subtle highlighter. I love that look. However, th this gave me, I think, three glittery specks and that was it. So it did not do anything for me at all. With the blush, the same thing. It looks pretty. It does. Uh, especially... When I am using all cream products, it looks very pretty. But because it does not dry down, I need to set it with something. The other cream blushes that I have set on themselves. This doesn't. So it's it's mute. I have to set it with a powder. That If I set it with a powder, I, you don't see the color anymore. If I set it with a blush, why then would I use this? You know, so it's it just didn't do anything for me. Okay, next I'm going to go to... Le, uh, an eyeshadow primer I have one eyeshadow primer here From a brand that I love I also got this in PR Maybe you already know What I'm going to mention It's from Unearthly And it is her Glimmer Grasp I know a lot of people love this Why? Because it's the same as the NYX Glitter Primer I used to love the NYX Glitter Primer I've used it for years And then all of a sudden It stopped working for me So where does it crease? Can you see, let me, that fold there. Just, if I push my eyelid up, you can kind of see a fold that's happening there. That's age. That is where it creases. So not where my eyelids, because my eyes are deep set, my eyelids basically do that. Kind of, you know, hug my eyeball on the inside of my skull. Or so, something like that. I don't have creasing there. Um, but the creasing happens of age where my eyelid itself does this. And that is with the NYX Glitter Primer and unfortunately also with this one. I have heard to use a minimum amount. I tried that, but I've also tried that with the NYX Glitter Primer. It's 
very easy if you love the nyx glitter primer you will love this one as well if you don't love the nyx glitter primer you won't like this one too i have heard that it is better with glitter but i don't use glitter a lot so but still i will use my gel primer and if you're like but i have loved the nyx glitter primer for years and all of a sudden it doesn't work for me it could very well be that you have more texture on your eyelids right now than its age people there's nothing that we can do about it but that's what happened that's what happened with me at least so unfortunately it's a no um i hope that she will re-release kind of a gel primer so i can try that one but unfortunately this one for me it's just a no uh, i also have to what do i have kind of lash glue so let's start with a regular lash glue here from pinky goat this brand was new in drugstores here i've never heard of this and they had uh, lashes and they had um, glue the lashes were okay they weren't my favorite but they were okay the glue when i opened it up oh, and i smelled it oh, and i smelled it i was like i smell latex and not the good kind so there are different i have had more lash glues that had latex in them but they did not smell like this this is the cheap old school latex the one that you can basically get in a tube in every uh dollar store around halloween time that kind of latex and i can smell it now i don't really have a latex allergy I just don't like a latex eyelash glue. Not like this. Um, when I tried this, I, 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 it looked like rubber. I liked that it was black. But it looked like rubber. It kept its shine. And um, yeah, and this, I cannot get over the smell. So um, what I, I actually use the black duo glue. The one with the brush. I think they have orange lettering. That's the one that I use. But even the, the old school duo glue with the, the white tube with the blue letter which does contain latex does not smell like this this when i smelled it i was like it reminds me it reminds me of my halloween days and it did not keep my falsies on either it just looked bad and uh, uh no 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 let's go next then to the catrice lash lash glue and eyeliner i love a concept like this now unfortunately it it just didn't work for me and the reason that it didn't work for me is it wasn't sticky enough so it is nice and black but it wasn't sticky enough so i had to reapply it a number of times uh, then it kept my falsies on but i constantly felt like they were not secure and i cannot have not secure falsies you know i i think that if you're maybe if you are i don't know indoors and you don't have to do anything with the lashes and they all only have to stay on for a few hours then this can probably work for you but for me i i double glue my falsies if i have i don't have falsies on today actually but if i have falsies on i double glue my falsies i glue my falsies and i glue underneath my eyes because that's where i place my falsies i need them to be secure this did not give me that security so it was a no for me okay the last thing that i'm going to mention are eyeshadow palettes so i try out a lot of eyeshadow palettes and i know what i don't like and what i do like i can make most eyeshadow palettes work and i honestly have not tried a lot of eyeshadow palettes this year that i was like i do not like this formula i think makeup is just getting better and better so the two eyeshadow palettes that i grabbed one i do not like it all i wish i'd never bought it uh, and the other one it's just for the price i don't think it's worth it for me at least so i'm going to start with that and actually both palettes are from one brand they're from huda beauty and this is the love fest the one that i'm going to mention first so this is the color story now when i swatch this it gives me very very nice pigment my brushes can pick it up okay now i use mostly synthetic brushes i do have still some real hair brushes in my collection when i use the real hair brushes it's a little bit better but when i used this the looks that i that i got out of this were meh i just don't really enjoy using this palette that much and while as i said my brushes could pick it up the shimmers were I don't know i feel they are very very pretty when i swatch them but when i put them on they're actually a little bit lackluster but they feel very dry so the reason that this was this palette is in here is because it is not worth 
the money that I paid for this. It's not worth full price. And I just need to stop being sucked in by her swatches. Because her swatches are built up and such. The last thing that I'm going to mention in today's video is a palette that I wish I had not bought. The shadows are extremely hard pressed. My brushes have a hard time picking it up. If I use real hair brushes, it works. Yes. But also the colors, the there, it, it no, the whole thing is just a no. Basically, this is my worst palette of the year. And it is the Empowered Palette by Huda Beauty. So I know that um, it's a favorite of a lot of people. And when I look at the color story, I'm like, yeah, she's cute. She is. However, me being green, can you kind of see what this shadow is doing already? It's when I hold it close to me, it's turning a funky funky color I also did not like the shimmers um, there I, I don't like this palette at all I I tried this palette and I I bear with me I tried this palette twice I believe no yes I tried this palette twice the first time I kind of played with the cooler tones a little bit and I also used the creams which I don't know why they're in there. I have no idea because this black, there's hardly any pigment, at least according to me. So if I use a cream black, which basically I want to use as a liner, I want a certain amount of pigment. This didn't give that to me at all. It, uh, I, I, and I have no idea why there are two creams in here. I also did not really notice that when I bought it though. So the second one was, I have never used this one. This, this, it was, uh, why, why? Why? But the colors that are in here, especially the cool toned ones, when I put them on, I started with this one first and it darkened up on me. It oxidized and it looked like I had not slept for five weeks. Um, this, this shade, which is actually kind of a little bit darker, did not help at all. So I actually removed that and I just tried to play here a little bit. No... These colors on me are not flattering at all. This put me off so, so much that I don't want to play with the palette anymore. What I paid for this was full price. And uh, no, no, no. Honestly, with this one, I am cured. I, I, I'll stick to her perfumes because I love those. But this one... And then that, that was it for today's video. Those, that was the worst makeup that I tried this year. And I actually think it's still not that much. Um, seeing what I try out. And I actually think the makeup, as I said, makeup is getting better and better. And uh, for a lot of these things, it's also personal preference. I know. But um, yeah, I'm happy that it is. A small section instead of uh, heaps. So let me know if you have any of these products. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know down in the comment section. And again, if I detest your favorite, it's not you. It's because the product doesn't work for me. Yes. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. I am going to wish you a fantastic day. A fabulous evening. May your foundation always match your neck. And I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys.